Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulić and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today I will teach you how to put a model behind a window or some other glass type. So let's start. This is really short and easy tutorial, but before we start I wanted to explain the background for this image. A few weeks ago I shot it commercial for a client, we had a girl drinking a coffee and reading a newspaper in the front of the coffee shop and that was the primary idea. But as it happens sometimes, client changed his mind, but after we finished the photo shooting and the client wants uh, to model to appear like she was in a coffee shop, like I was shooting through the window. And now I will show you how to do that pretty quick and easily. For this you will need two images. First is the model drinking a coffee or some other model doing something else. This is not my image. Uh, I will put a link in the description for this, these two images. And another image is some any environmental image for this situation. I use these buildings with uh, blown out skies. And Okay, first what will what will I do? I will duplicate this, uh, let's name this building and let's name this model. Okay, I will duplicate a building layer and first layer here I will put in the lighten mode. And what happens? Everything that is uh, light, lighter, stays visible everything that is darker than the model uh, see it, uh, you can see through through that layer and see like uh, buildings are darker than a model and then here is the place where you can see the model but uh, the sky is a lot uh, lighter than the model and you cannot see that part of a model okay but this is not so good and we will now lower the opacity for this layer maybe around let's try 60 percent around 60 percent yeah that's that's much better now you already had the feeling that the model it's shooted something like through the glass but let me uh show you just quickly back to normal mode and 100 percent opacity you see here the letters are appearing normal but if you shoot it through the windows you will have a, a mirrored situation and i will go Control t or command t on a mac right click and flip horizontally just to have this flipped completely opposite uh, this letter will be opposite and this letter here etc all right and now let's let's do the same for this layer Control command t flip horizontally okay and now go back to luminous uh, to lighten uh, 60 percent okay and let me see now uh, it's much better and the next layer i will put in the multiply mode and lower the opacity a lot maybe 20 or 30 percent or so 30 percent okay but what what is fake here it's that these uh, those buildings are much far away than a model and the focus it's on a model and that means that the building will be out of focus and we need to blur those two layers of the buildings okay let's first blur the first one filter blur gaussian blur and let me see maybe mm, 10 or so pixels 12 15, 20, I'll let it be 20, 20 pixels, it's okay, depend of the lens that you shoot it with, but 20 or 23, let me see, 23 pixels, it's okay. We will use the same blur for this. If you want to apply the same effect, just press Control command f and like you can see here, filter and Control command f it will apply the same effect with the same amount of blur. I will just press that. And now we have two layers, we multiply with 30% opacity and lighten with 60% opacity. I will group those two layers, okay, and let's name it buildings, okay, 
and I will put the mask on that and I just want to mask this part here with the gradient. I will use the gradient black to transparency and just go up, up by holding a shift that's a straight line. Okay, something like maybe here, nice. Or maybe a little bit more like so. All right, double click on the mask and I will just decrease density like maybe 65, 64%. Let me see before and after, before and after, yeah. Next thing what I want to do is to play around with the model a little bit. I will use the curves layer and just make contrast to pop up a little bit, but I will fade the blacks just a little bit like, like so. Let me see before and after, yeah, before and after. I like this. Maybe I will uh, lower the opacity of, comp of the whole group, like 85 or 90%, that's nice. And we are basically done. Uh, you can play with these parts here. I don't like uh, this arm, it's too saturated. And I can put another layer here, hue and saturation, and just lower the saturation of, of the reds. Let me see, okay, and invert the layer mask, control command I to invert the layer mask, okay, use the brush and use just some soft brush here, white and maybe 20% opacity and let me, okay, I'm using Wacom tablet and it's easier for me to paint something like this, okay, that's better and maybe this part too. Nice. The next thing what I like to do here to make this more interesting just to merge all layers together shift control alt e or on a Mac shift command option e and merge all layers together. Go to filter use Nick's Nick collections. It's a Nick collection. It's really a great effect uh, color FX pro. It's free. Uh, from Google, you can download it. Just Google it, Nick Color FX Pro or Nick Collection, Nick Filters. It's free. And go here use uh, to use the Pro Contrast. Let's increase this dynamic contrast a little bit. I like this dynamic contrast slider because I already explained you in the last tutorial because it preserves the highlights of the image. I can uh, put it on 100% and highlights will be pretty much preserved like normal contrast will blow out the highlights. I don't like that. All right, I will use something like 40%. Let me see the color correction, uh, nothing special. And I want to make image a little bit, just a little bit warmer. I will add another filter here and just a little bit warmer, like maybe 20% or so. Okay, now let's wait for the filter, filter to apply. And after that, you can play with the color correction, do whatever you want, what you like for your taste. I will use curves and just make some split toning, like so maybe. Let me see. Yeah, it's not bad. That's one thing or another thing. You can merge all layers together again and go to the filters, camera row filter and just play with some split toning options I will show you now. Go here to split toning and let's make the highlights a little bit yellow and let's make the shadows a little bit greenish or, or bluish, something like so. Let me see. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I really like that. Let me see before and after. Yeah, before and after. And maybe the haze this or you can play with the haze to negative value or to positive. Yeah, definitely the positive. It's not good for this situation, but you can put some the haze maybe minus five or so just touch. All right, maybe some amount of vignetting, but just a touch and feather it a little bit. All right, 
and that's basically it we can add the vibrance and let me see this is before this is after i really like that that's really easy. You can change the backgrounds, you can uh, use different environment image, uh, different uh, buildings or anything, uh, nature, depends of uh, what you want to have in your uh, Windows reflection. It's really easy and I hope that you like it, that you learn something new. And if you have any questions at all, please be free to ask them in the comment below. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.